Welcome back to uh, the training for beginners in Power Director 18. Uh, I hope you've watched the first one. It's important that you keep them in order and watch them in order so you don't get lost. And uh, we're going to continue on building our video here. We've ended off in part one with adding in our handyman's introduction. We'll just play this uh, again to uh, remind you what uh, we've built here. Okay. <laughs> subscribers and if you're uh, new to my website I hope you enjoy this video there we go all right so we'll bring in our uh, file here with our resources uh, the next one I want to use is the uh, the leash carabiner number four number five number six no room for number six okay so come down to the bottom here we can get ourselves some more screen to work with. Now actually what I'm going to do here, uh, let's just go back, get that out of the way. I'm going to go back here. Now before we go too far, we have to look up in our timeline here because we pre-planned this, so we put in some clips here, they're all in order. And there's one clip here we haven't used yet, and this is my little logo. Bring him up so you can see him. So he's the logo for my website, and uh, you want to, if you have a website that you want to promote, you want to have a little bit of a logo, and you want to have him portrayed in a number of different places in your uh, videos. So this little guy, he appears and disappears on a regular basis in my uh, web videos. So, uh, <laughs> I say website, but no, in the videos themselves. So, we're going to work with the little handyman right now. So, what we want to do, we have our puppy right here, and I want to put him right in here, just as though the dog was after him, chasing him off the page. So, let's go back and select our handyman. We're going to bring him down and we're going to bring him down to the second track. I can use the uh, video on the second track here and uh, I don't want to start him right at the beginning. I want him to appear as we start going and then I'll go down to the other end and grab it. I'm going to shrink this down a bit and I want him to uh, disappear just before it goes into my welcoming video. So I've pretty well got my size. We may have to adjust this a little bit. There's no audio to this clip at all. It's just a little still picture. But you can see he's taken up the whole screen now. So here's another little tip you can use. If you click on your Whichever one's in the box, you'll notice that it has these lines around it, boxes. Clip on the little guy here. And so we want to grab him and shrink him down to a logo size. Grab him in the middle and bring him down <coughs> to, oh, about there is good. Well, maybe a little below. There we are. So, he's a tight little guy, but that's okay. He still is promoting your website. If every time you click on him, you can bring him up a little 
Maybe make them just a little bit bigger. And bring them a little closer to the dog. <clears throat> there we go. So, we'll play that little portion. Now you see he just came onto the screen and then went off of the screen. It just adds a little interest and people that look at your website and know he's around will look at places where you might show up again. And one other place you could show up is right here on my intro. So I'm going to put them down towards the end. I don't want them to play that long. We shorten them right up a bit here. Okay. And we'll shrink them down again. There we go. So you see the lines here? I, uh, that goes around the outside. These are your uh, safety margin. You don't want to put anything way out here. If you want it to be seen, particularly on a screen, sometimes it can be cut down depending on the type of television people are watching, type of screen they're watching. So I try and stay within those safe, they're called safe, safe zone lines. And you can see as I come in, the line will highlight itself okay it tells me hey you're right on the mark there now I want to go down to the bottom so we're going to drag it down and there so it's telling me that I'm right on the edge and right on the bottom and we'll put him right there mm, he looks a little big to me so I'm going to bring him down a little bit there and we'll see what he looks like If you're uh, new to my website, I hope you enjoy this video. And we'll just let that run. Again. Okay, You've learned a couple of tricks there with resizing your videos on top of videos. Now, just a quick information here. When you look down, this second track or track mark two is a track that will play always on top of the first track so you can manipulate your videos by having a picture-in-picture uh, picture if you wanted and uh, all right let's just look at one here we're gonna go right here and we're gonna bring down bring over a little doggy the little doggy right here. Now this doesn't fit where I want it to go. So we'll put it right there. And we'll shrink it up. And we'll shrink it up. Now we can we're highlighting here. Oops. You see in this box, sorry, drag it across. Now it's asking me, do I want to trim this only? Or do I want to trim and move the other clips? That's the little handyman guy. Or do I want to move, trim and move all the clips? There could be more clips along here. So actually, no, I just want to trim it right there. Okay. So we'll undo that. And I'll show you one other way you can trim it. So we put it here. Now we can highlight any of these tracks across here where, you're, where the line the line goes through. Highlight the main track, and we can highlight the little uh, puppy, the track with the puppies on. Go over here to our split the selected clip. So this is another way of cutting this clip. So I can split it, and I can select either one to do whatever I want to do. I can download. I can uh, delete it by hitting my delete button 
or I can delete it by hitting the remove. It says remove and leave a gap, remove and fill a gap, and remove and fill the gap with all the clips. But I don't want to do that. I just want to remove and leave the gaps between them. So there we go. Back over again. Our puppy. Now that puppy is too big. We'll grab him. Put him down in here. There. Just play that quickly. Well, uh, welcome back to my uh, I'll see how you can do subscribers. a picture, in picture. And if you're uh, new to my website, I hope you enjoy this video. So, you see what happened there? I hit the square and it took me right back to the start. So I hit that by mistake instead of hitting this stop button here, the play and, and pause button. So we'll grab our little... Back to my uh, toggle here. And we're right back again. Now, do I dare show you another way to trim this? Maybe not. We'll leave that. We'll leave that for a little bit because I think you've had enough in this area. Okay. Now you can see to do a good video, it's going to take you some time. So look at it as a hobby, or if you look at it as a job, it can become quite nerve-wracking because it takes approximately ten minutes. To edit one minute of of video, and uh, you can see by our uh, timer here, we've got 25 and 5 tenths seconds created right here. 25 and 5 tenths seconds, and all that time we've been working on this. Mind you, we're trying to teach you a few things too. So at this point. I want to start bringing in I'll bring our file over. I want to start bringing in some of my clips. You see I've got my numbered clips in here and uh, what I want to do though is I have a audio right here. This is called my carabiner audio. I had already pre-recorded this so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this in and we're going to start right here and whoops we have to stop here I just closed my uh, close my file Hold on. I got the file out the way okay I brought it into my bin. I want to insert it in this highlighted track here. It has a microphone. That's a narration. So I'll right click on that and I'll add my voice to the track. There we go. So that's our audio which is going to introduce and talk about future clips that are coming in. So let's just listen to it for a moment and see where we have to be. Okay, this video that I'm making right here, okay, right away, what I see is that, or what I hear, is how to make is use that there's of a, a long intro uh, before it gets to my voice. Okay, this. Okay, I'll back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that, we're going to separate the clip, and we're going to delete this side, not this side. We, we want to get rid of that long introduction. Hit the delete button. Okay. Remove and leave a gap. Remove and fill. Or remove and move all the clips. So you see it, it chopped a section off and moved the clip over in line with our red working line. So let's try that. 
Okay, this video that I'm making right here is how to make use of a carabiner. So that seems almost perfect. So we're going to talk, we're talking about making use of the carabiner on your dog's leash. And uh, when you get back to your trailer, okay, changed slides now. So we're going to go down here. And uh, when you get back to your trailer, I want the end of the dog's leash here on your dog's leash. So we'll stop it right there. Okay, now we have to add in a timeline marker because this is how long we want our picture of the carabiner and the dog's leash. So let me go over here to my slides and we'll bring in number four, which is the carabiner, and we want it to go right in here. But as soon as we drop this in here, our timeline here marker will, will move. So we're going to right click on the little triangle. We're going to add a timeline marker. Easily just go OK. And there it is in behind. You can't see it. It's a little blue timeline marker. So now we can drag our picture down. And you see what I mean? As soon as I drop that into the timeline, the cursor along with our red marker line jumped all the way across. So now I know that the clip has to extend to my marker. Highlight the clip, grab the end, drag it out. Okay. As soon as you hit the timeline marker, the line a blue line will show up to tell you that you're there. If you go beyond, it's a red line. Okay. I'm telling you, hey, that's where I want to be. There's my marker. Okay. Add that one in. And then you go up and play beyond that to see which our next, next slide. And uh, when you get back to your trailer, sometimes you got your arms full. There's no place. to put the dog and you have a dog like we've got okay a dog like we've got I'm going to show the picture of our little dog so what I've got to do here is I again go down triangle top of the triangle right click add a marker simply click OK alright now I have two pictures to go in here I have a picture of a lady walking her dog and I have a picture of our travel trailer so we'll go down here and put her in and we'll just quickly listen to that and uh, when you get back to your trailer okay this is just a quick slide but it's showing you exactly the, the remind, you know a little picture of a lady walking her dog back to her trailer. Now I want to get a picture of my trailer in this last part. So this clip's too long. Several ways of doing that. Like I said, we can put in a timeline marker and shrink it by grabbing a hold of the end. We can highlight it like we have now and we can cut the clip right here. See this split the selected clip? We've done that all over. And I'm going to confuse you any more really even more if you see this yellow box that's at the bottom here depending on what side you grab you can see I've got when I get the yellow arrow if I go over this well, okay, there's the yellow arrow click it hold down with my mouse and some now I can drag that across Let's find our spot again. Back to your trailer. Okay, we're going to highlight that. Grab with our little arrow. Sometimes you get your arrow. And hit the delete key. Now, 
I did that on purpose to show you Arms what I actually did is I got rid of that video that I didn't need but I also got rid of some audio right right here I cut the clip and deleted all of that so be careful using that function gonna go back here back once again and add in my lady once again I know this is kind of boring but unless you study what we're doing here uh, you're gonna have a difficult time so and uh, when you get back to your trailer okay trailer so we're gonna highlight that we're gonna split it and we're gonna the portion that we want to get rid of is already highlighted so we hit our delete button and it's gone it didn't ask you any questions to delete and fill the gap or delete and move all clips because there is nothing beyond us here you know, there we don't have any clips here so this is the space that I want to put in the trailer go up here grab the trailer bring it down put it in place because we have our marker already on the timeline there we can come across we can get our blue line there's our blue line we're done we'll go back and listen see if that coordinates the audio with the pictures your dog's leash and uh, when you get back to your trailer sometimes you got your arms full there's no place to put the dog and you have a dog like we've got uh, if you set the leash down that's the last time you're going to see it because she takes off like a scared rabbit she loves to explore and she loves to run she's part Italian Greyhound and Chihuahua and uh, you'd be spending the rest of your day looking for the dog so I had to come up with a way okay so we're talking about the Either dog when I got right up to here rest of your day looking for the dog okay so, so this is what we got to use for our pooch we're gonna add a timeline marker again okay now in this area I have two pictures right I have a picture of Miss Lily is her name and then after that I have another picture okay so that shows her little Italian Greyhound body with the Chihuahua face and eyes the ears as a matter of fact Chihuahuas do not have <laughs> get a little offside here don't have bigger ears like that not that big that's her Italian Greyhound ears so we're gonna bring Miss Lily she's up here I'm gonna bring her down see how far we'd like her to go uh, if you set the leash down that's the last time you're going to see it because she takes off like a scared rabbit she loves to explore and she loves to run she's part okay I'm going to tell that she's part Italian Greyhound so that's where the other picture should come in we're going to right click add a timeline marker Highlight her, bring her out to here. Okay. Get our next picture, she's up here. Um, bring her down, put her in place. Now let's just go another way. This is our highlighted track. Okay, I can jump to the end by hitting this right arrow. If I want to put a slide in here or a video, I can, rather than carrying it down like I just did, I can right click on it and I can insert it on the selected track. So when I hit this, it puts it in selected track. So just a couple of ways of entering things onto your timeline that you should know. And we have our marker, so we can drag this out to here. And we'll just listen to see how that sounds. We've got, uh, if you set the leash down, that's the last time you're going to see it because she takes off like a scared rabbit. 
She loves to explore and she loves to run. She's part Italian Greyhound and Chihuahua and uh, you'd be spending the rest of your day looking for the dog. So I had to come up with a way that when I got back to the trailer, okay, I could hit my right arrow here to come back to my track and the next picture I want to add in is the picture of what my idea is. Add put this one in here. No. Right click on that, insert it on the selected track, and continue on. So I had to come up with a way that when I got back to the trailer, the dog would be clipped on securely and I didn't lose her. And so what I came up with is I clipped a carabiner onto my uh, retractable leash and then on the door at the door of my trailer I have this handle you know the, uh, railing that you can pull yourself up and okay, up we're just listening on. to where the audio and is going to end the bolts out of that bottom end of the handle and I slipped a second carabiner onto that because the carabiner itself would not open up near enough to clip on. And now the silver carabiner stays on the trailer all the time and can't be stolen unless you take the handrail off. And the idea of that was when you get back to the trailer now I can clip the carabiner on my leash to the carabiner on the trailer and the dog is secure. Now that works really well but where you really appreciate it, okay. So I'm going into another idea with another picture, and I'm going to pause it. it and I didn't realize back here that. A bit. Trailer now, I can clip the carabiner on my leash to the carabiner on the trailer, and the dog is secure. Now. now, now back it up just a little. I'm going to add our timeline marker in here. Okay. We're going to go back on our track. Now if you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can go down the bottom here. Let's go down the bottom. And you can shrink, see the minus and the plus, you can shrink the track so that you can see more in front of you on the track. So let's just try that. Okay, and one more. And now we'll go back. And now you see, we can see all the area on one page. We'll go just, we'll increase it one more. Okay. So I can bring down my next slide. My next slide is a picture of the trailer. Oops. Well, I've forgotten we're going to have to go and listen to it here and forgot what we're talking about here. Get her. The dog okay. would be clipped. I'm sorry. This is all a picture of this carabiner. I know it's going to get a little bit boring, but we're going to do a few things to it to keep people's attention. All right. Grab this bar on the bottom here, and you can move your track over to get you a little more real estate to work with, and you can see where your audio is going to end down here. Okay, so continue on. Now, that works really well, but where you really appreciate it, and I didn't realize that until the first night. The first night, the dog was in the trailer sleeping, and lo and behold, o'clock in the morning she's got to go out and I open the door and it is cold and it is blowing and so I thought what the heck I just put her harness on clipped her to the harness stepped out onto the first step clipped her on the carabiner let her go and close the door and I listened and then I heard the Tick, 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 scratch, scratch, tick, tick, tick on the door. Oh. Okay, I've got an idea here. We're going to use the door, let her in a different picture here. 
stepped out onto the first step, clipped her on the carabiner, let her go, and closed the door. And I listened. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to add a timeline marker. You see how important these timeline markers are because without them, if I bring in the clip, now the clip that I'm looking for right now is a picture of the trailer. There it is right there. And I'm talking about letting the dog out at night, out the door, so you can see the two doors in the trailer. Bring this down. Now without this timeline marker, we wouldn't know how far to expand our picture. And there we go right there. Okay. And then from there, you can hear, and then I heard the talking about the dog tick, tick, scratching tick, tick, on scratch, the door. Scratch. Tick, tick, tick on the door, open the door, let her in, disconnected her from her harness, the, the leash retracted back to where it was, ready for morning. Okay, I'm talking about the leash morning. here. So we're going to go here, door, let her in, disconnected her from her harness, the leash Okay. there. We're going to add a timeline marker. Okay. And then we're going to bring in our little dog again. Okay. It has a black background in this particular slide. Put it right there. Expand it. Okay. And then we want the leash coming back in again. And we don't know when the leash is going to end, so we'll listen here. Cracked back to where it was, ready for morning. Took the harness off, and we were back in bed, and I nearly caught a breath of cold air. So it worked really well in that area. Okay. Sounds pretty good. So we have to find the end of our audio here. We come back a little bit. Well, breath of cold air. So it worked really well in that area. I'm going to stop, highlight our audio clip. We want to cut this end off over to our split the select clip and hit our, make sure the part that's highlighted is the part you want to get rid of and delete it. And then I wanted to add one more clip in the end. Is, uh, Go back to the trailer again. Put that one in. Actually, we'll drop it in here. Okay, we already have that one. So we're going to drag it again. And see what I mean? You can use your clips over and over again, even though they've got a, a green check mark. doesn't matter. We didn't really need a uh, timeline marker there because we're going to drag it out to the end of the audio. So we'll just do that. There it is. So we'll go back a bit on the timeline. And we'll see how it sounds. We'll start about here. The bolts out of that bottom end of the handle. And I slipped a second carabiner onto that because the carabiner itself would okay now listening to this I need a timeline open marker up, open up here right about here on and I remove the bolts out of that bottom end of so I'm talking about if we look up here in the picture removing the bolts out of the bottom end now remember this is an informative and an instruction video so you want to tell people as much as you can of how you did it and uh, then they can, when they do their own project, they can see, oh, well, I can take this apart up here and I could add my carabiner on. Okay, so we're going to add in a timeline marker right here. And, uh, okay, and we'll continue on. And you'll see why I put that timeline marker in there in a moment. I'm just going to handle. And 
I slipped a second carabiner onto that. I know it's hard because the carabiner to imagine someone else is enough. making a video in long. their head and arranging clips. And now the and you're trying silver to figure it out. The idea is on just the, the mechanics all the time of how you do these stolen. things unless you take when you're doing hand video. off. And the idea of that was when you get back. Okay, we'll move this along a little bit. Okay, let's just see. This end part's the only part we didn't see uh, with the audio to make sure it all lines up. Secure. Now, that works really well, but where you really appreciate it, and I didn't realize that until the first night. The first night, the dog was in the trailer sleeping, and lo and behold, 2 o'clock in the morning, she's got to go out and I opened the door and it is cold and it is blowing and so I thought what the heck I just put her harness on clipped her to the harness stepped out onto the first step clipped her on the carabiner let her go and closed the door and I listened and then I heard the Tick, 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 scratch, scratch, tick, tick, tick on the door, opened the door, let her in, disconnected her from her harness, the leash retracted back to where it was, ready for morning, took the harness off, and we were back in bed, and I nearly caught a breath of cold air. So it worked really well in that area. Okay, we're getting a little long here. We hit into the 35-minute mark of our... Uh, training in our video we've produced three minutes and 12 seconds so we'll leave this and we'll show you uh, a few more things in part three catch you in the next one